Now that I got my top 10 worst moms video out the way, it's now time for my top 10 best moms. And I just want to apologize that I didn't get to do my top 10 best moms video uh, before Mother's Day, unfortunately. I tried to get it done Saturday morning, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, my microphone and my microphone set just wasn't acting right. But it's working fine today, and I had other stuff going on Saturday, so let's uh, get started anyways with my top 10 best moms video. Starting off at number 10, Bunny Bravo, the mother of Johnny Bravo. She is a kind, beautiful, caring, motherly, outgoing, loving mama who loves her only child so much and hopes for him to find that special someone he is looking for. Well, until her son stops trying hard by showing off his pecs and referring to women as baby, pretty mama, etc., he'll be fine as long as he can just be himself. If anyone also messes with Johnny, you better be prepared because Bunny Bravo will kick their asses. Whether it's mama style, kung fu style, any kind of style, she will kick butt. Number 9, Gloria Delgado Pritchett, portrayed by the very sexy Sofia Figaro on Myra Family. Gloria has a strong and loving relationship with her son Manny since raising him on her own. She's very supportive of his interests and always encourages him to show affection to girls he likes and treats them with chivalry like it's Teen Titans Go. I, 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 nobody told you to be in this video. I don't need your help. What I also love about Gloria is that when anyone insults Manny, you might want to run away for your lives because she will cut you, confront you, get loud, and will yell and, pr and probably make men cry like Manny's favorite playwright in the Bushes with Celebrity episode. I get turned on when Gloria gets angry. It's sexy with that Colombian accent of hers. Number eight, Nicole Watterson of The Amazing World of Gumball. Even though Nicole gets stressed out, she is quite strict, also very demanding, and loses her temper issues when upset. She is a very deeply caring mom and wife who is protective, supportive, kind-hearted, soft-sided woman who loves her family very much. Number seven, Lorelai Gilmore of the Gilmore Girls. Lorelai gave up everything for her daughter, Rory. Being there for Rory's ups and downs, giving her advice as well when it comes to a lost love, I've had my heart broken before. It's really hard. It's hard for everyone. So can I give you a little advice? Okay. I think what you really need to do today is wallow. Wallow? Oh yeah. Get back in your pajamas, go to bed, eat nothing but gallons of ice cream and tons of pizza. Don't take a shower or shave your legs or put on any kind of makeup at all. And just sit in the dark and watch a really sad movie and have a good long cry and just wallow. You need to wallow. Oh, she's definitely a top 10 mom for that. I mean, giving her daughter Rory that helpful advice says it all. I know Rory is lucky to have a mom like Lorelai, and she should. Anybody will want a cool mom like Lorelai. I'm ready to wallow now. Hey Joe, it's Lorelai. I need a pizza with everything. <laughs> Thanks. Number six, Linda Belcher of the Bob's Burgers. Linda is an awesome mom for her happy-go-lucky, enthusiasm, funny, and friendly personality. Plus, she loves to sing whenever she's in the mood. Number five, Dexter's mom of Dexter's Laboratory. She should definitely be on everyone's list of best moms. She loves her family, loves cooking and cleaning for them, and she's another mom that will kick ass like she did to that one woman in the Dexter's mom cartoon. She whooped that ass. I mean, she literally won the battle. Her arch nemesis didn't want none. Don't mess with Dexter's mom and her latex gloves. She deserves so much praise, especially for being such a tall, curvy redhead with wide hips and a big round bubble butt. Number four, Claire Dunphy of Myra Family. Claire is wonderful. 
and she's such a wonderful mother that Cameron and Mitchell come to her for parenting advice. Number three, another Claire, Claire Huxtable of The Cosby Show. She has juggled being a great mom, raising five kids and with her husband and juggling being an attorney. She is the true superwoman of moms. She's her own boss. Number two, Marge Simpson. When it comes to Marge, she cares for her family, looking out for Lisa and disciplining her bratty son, Bart, whose name is spelled backwards as Brat. That's a good one, and it makes sense. And lastly, number one, Mrs. Carol Brady. She is television's favorite mom, a mom anyone would like to have, as she did a wonderful job raising six children. Now here are the honorable mentions. Kitty Foreman of That 70s Show. Carrie Martin, the mother of Zach and Cody. Angie Lopez of The George Lopez Show. Rochelle of Everybody Hates Chris, especially for the classic moment in the first episode confronting Chris about the urine on the toilet seat. Chris! Get in the bathroom and wipe the pee off the toilet seat! Beverly Goldberg of The Goldbergs. Yes, Beverly tends to embarrass her children. She's nosy when getting into their business and gives Adam names like Schmoopy, Schmoo, Boo Bear, Cuddle Monster, etc. But she just wants the best for her children. Plus, that woman knows she can curse like a sailor. Terrorize this face, because it is going to haunt your dreams, sir. It is going to haunt your <laughs> dreams. <laughs> My ring. In private, no phone for ow, either ow, of you. Ow, ow, <laughs> Eat it. Murray, wake the up. Get your hand off his face. It's Thanksgiving. Your daddy Warbucks? Sure. Your daddy Warbucks? Frankie Heck of the middle. Some would consider her a bad mom for being lazy and not cooking dinner like Peggy Bundy, saying, I made dinner. You ain't made crap. You bought fast food dinner. She also tends to forget about Brick like he doesn't exist, like she forgot about him at work once. Also forgetting his birthday, like the rest of the family. How can someone forget another person's birthday? That's just not right. At least she made it up to Brick for all the birthdays she has forgotten in the Other Man episode back in January, giving Brick all the birthday cakes for him to eat, just for Frankie to make up for all the birthdays she's missed. And because of that, Frankie's not a bad mom. She gets an honorable mention as a best mom. Bonnie Plunkett of Mom. Yeah, some people can say that she's more considered of a bad mom because she almost gave away Christy up for adoption. But then at the last minute, she changed her mind at the hospital to the point that Bonnie pretty much wasn't always there for Christy. And she ended up doing drugs and coming home late where Christy pretty much had to raise herself, unfortunately. But at least she tracked down Christy again and they reunited as mother and daughter and their relationship has been great ever since. This has been my top 10 best moms video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope uh, your mothers had a great Mother's Day. And uh, happy belated Mother's Day to everyone. All the best moms out there, we salute you. As for the worst moms out there, get it together. Because if you keep this up, you're not getting nothing on Mother's Day. No cards, no gifts, no roses, no candy, none.